Hello and welcome to my review of the Genie Wi-Fi Connected Humidifier. So I've taken the liberty of plugging in the humidifier. I'm actually running it with an extension cord um, just so that we can get a nice open view of it. Um, it did take a extended period of time. It was very irritating to try to get it connected to Wi-Fi. Um, I actually didn't realize that I was connecting my phone still to my uh, 5 gigahertz network, which is a wireless N and AC combined network. Um, so once I switched over to the wireless G and N network, which is 2.5 gigahertz, it worked um, pretty quickly. However, the AP mode also did fail on it. Um, it's supposed to be a wireless access point mode where the device itself becomes that the connection point um, that failed miserably so I recommend just make sure you're on a on a wireless G or a two and a half gigahertz N network um, and you'll have no problems connecting um, it should take really less than 30 seconds to connect uh, through the app so what I've also done once I got that accomplished was I connected it to my Alexa at, uh, to my Alexa device and I enabled the skill per the instructions provided um, which you'll see a photo that I took of the manuals they talk you how, how to do that it's basically you go into the Alexa app you go to the menu select skills type in genie select it do enable skill and then you have to add the device inside of that Alexa app as well. Um, once that's done you can control the device over your Wi-Fi network without having to go to the Genie app specifically. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually turn on the humidifier from my Alexa device here. So hello Alexa turn on the humidifier. Okay. And so you can see pretty quickly uh, it turns on the device and hopefully we can make it visible where it's actually putting out fog. It should be unless I set it to the lowest level. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to use this red chair. And I actually didn't change the setting on the fog yet. So you can see it's actually already producing the uh, humid the fog itself. So uh, there is different levels of fog. Uh, the Alexa app does not list specifically if there's a command for that, but you can just literally touch this and there's different settings for the fog, one, two, and three level. Um, there also is an LED button here, so you can do LED off or on. Um, I think it just does low and high high brightness for that. But it does have a uh, random changing LED color at the top, which I do like. Um, if my child was going to be near it, it would be nice to calm her during the nighttime with the random colors. We used to have a turtle that did the same thing. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it off here, and we're going to take a look just at the bottom. You can see there's that little wireless symbol there. That's actually what you touch in order to pair the device initially. Um, once it's paired, you won't have to use that function any longer. And then if you want to open up the canister, you can see that inside is the water. There is a max fill line, as well as um, if you note here, it says pour this way. And that is per the manufacturer's instructions. It says not to pour it the opposite direction because otherwise what can happen is it can actually um, interfere with the, uh, with the humidifier's electronics. And then I'll go ahead and show you what I'm trying to do here. There's actually a little tab. And it's probably difficult to see, but there it is. Um, so that tab actually lines up over here. So, apparently I was just misaligning it, and there we are. So, that is my re video review of the Genie humidifier. Um, I'm probably going to give it four stars just because the pairing function is really flaky. Thank you very much.